Now, at PSG, Pochettino, of course, has been mentioned in the same breath as returning to Tottenham. Yeah. Um, the sporting director, Leonardo, has confirmed that Pochettino still has two years left on his contract, indicating they've triggered a clause to extend his original 18-month deal by a further year. Mm -hmm. What's that all about, Simon, in your view? PSG, what are they up to here? Is this about commitment? Is it about compensation? Um, well, we don't know when they triggered this clause, so we don't know whether that, that was triggered very quickly or what triggered after he won the French Cup or it's been triggered as a result of the purported situation with Tottenham Hotspur. I think there's a power play going on. I think Pochettino is using Tottenham as a stalking horse to perhaps insert greater influence into what is reputed to be quite a difficult environment to work in, which is PSG and the chain of communication, the line of command, the lack of access to the ultimate controlling influence, which is the money, um, and historically the relationship that managers have with Leonardo. Now, I, I realise that we might be seeing a more measured and balanced Thomas Tuchel at Chelsea as a result of experiences. But if you roll back six or seven months, he was at odds with the PSG hierarchy. Yes, exactly. He was at odds with yeah. Leonardo. Yeah. So it doesn't surprise you that, that, that there might be challenges in the, in the way that they interact with one another. I still find it difficult to comprehend the, the, the notion that Pochettino will come back to Tottenham and why either party would really, really want that. Because if you look at, if you take away the sentiment, in life we have two things. We have fundamentals and we have sentiment. The fundamentals are the things that really underpin it, and the sentiment is the emotion behind it. The fundamentals of Pochettino was at the end of his time at Tottenham, he'd perhaps run his course in his relationship with Daniel Levy, yeah. with his relationship with certain players, with his ability to be able to take Tottenham from being a bridesmaid to a bride. So roll forward 18 months and the fundamentals are still there. You have a disparate squad of players that don't seem to have gotten much better. Some of the same personalities are still there. And the ultimate personality that might have been the conflict above all conflicts is Daniel Levy, and he's still there. So how do you suggest that this is a fit that sudden subsequently works better than it did 18 months ago? What's everybody learnt? Tottenham learnt anything? Has Daniel got any more better, any more malleable, any more pliable, any more flexible? Well, he's not going to change, Well, he? he's not going to change, and neither should he, because that's his style, that's the way he operates. You can't yeah. change the way you are for other people, otherwise you end up being nothing. Now, with Pochettino, what's he gone and done? Has he been setting the world alight? Well, no. He got beat by Jose Fonts Lille in the, in, the, in the French League, yes. you know, to win that particular tournament yeah. or lose that tournament, which they haven't done for some time. So I look at it and say, whilst I understand the sentiment and emotion because people are coming out of this, you know, vacuous time with Jose Mourinho where they thought they were going to win something, they didn't. They took him out before a cup final, which is one of the most sweeping statements of something that you, that you find difficult to comprehend. But going to your question... What do you do? do PSG strike me you as a club that needs compensation. No, exactly. Right. Yeah, of course. The the brimming brimming with uh, brimming with money. It's probably making it harder for him to leave though, or they are making it harder for him to leave. Should he wish to go back? And of course, uh, we know Tottenham maybe want him more than he wants them. But put it this way: flip, flip the argument the other way. As as a person that's been an employer in all different guises, I don't want somebody that don't want to be here. Yeah. Right? It's not as if PSG can't have their pick of people with the with the embarrassment of riches that they have. I, okay, I don't think much of their league, and I dial it back from the piddly pop comment that Jose Font took exception to mm. the other day uh, for the league un. But by the same token, what would be the point of convincing somebody that's been there for five minutes, taking you to the dizzy heights of not winning the league that you normally dominate, right? Yeah, and now saying that he potentially wants to go somewhere else? Why would PSG really be bothered to keep Pochettino? He ain't done anything for him. No. He ain't done anything for no, them. Exactly. Except play for them once upon yeah, a time. Yeah, that's the bottom line, Simon. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.